Well, we've made it to the season two finale of Battlestar Galactica, Lay Down Your Burdens, part one and part two today, right now. I tell you, I can hardly contain myself. I don't know what this episode is gonna bring. When we last left off, it seemed like Boomer and Caprica 6 were, I don't know, gonna incite some rebellion among the Cylons. They have 36 hours estimated time, I believe, but then again, it's probably with Cylon computer precision. So uh, yeah, I don't know what they're gonna get up to. I assume we're gonna continue that storyline today. At the same time, I don't know what we're gonna get up to over on the Battlestar Galactica and how those two storylines are gonna intersect. Perhaps we're gonna finally make the decision to go after Anders. I don't know, President Roslyn hasn't shown any indication that she's interested in pursuing that with Starbuck. But at the same time, I don't know, I just assume things are gonna intersect somehow. This is a two-part finale, lay down your burdens. So episode 19 and 20 of this show, let's watch it. Is that Tyrrell with a beard? You look rough, man. Elect Baltar, no. I'm gonna lose. I agree, I hope. Oh, she's also freaking out. I know there's some of you out there who are I don't know, disappointed I don't comment on the music of the show more. What? It is phenomenal. Thank you. There's just so much happening that I don't often think to comment on it. So here, I'm commenting on it now. The music on the show is phenomenal and it would not be what it is without it. Our final jump will take us intra-atmosphere, less than two clicks above the surface. Simulations indicate losses of up to 20% can be expected. That's a lot. Shoot. It's volunteer only. What's the objective? You want out? Now's the time. I'm in. Is the objective Caprica? Anders? Tear the car, let the pieces fall as they may. Yeah, my father like used that. to break pencils before he went into court. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, have we seen them have any personal time since their kiss? Before debate team in high school. I love just such a human moment. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love this show so much. Strike team could make the entire trip back to Caprica. They are Less going back to Caprica. Jumps. This show has given me all the things I want right now. That obstacle has now been overcome. Thanks to, drum roll, Sharon Valeri. All right, Pegasus, sit down. Sit down, Pegasus crew. No one cares what you think. Does anyone have a problem with that? No. If you do, get out of the room. I've been chosen to lead these people. Like the baby happened. The one I was destined to protect. Well... Don't let your anger drive you into blasphemy, guys. I'm not gonna touch that one right now. We know something about the baby he doesn't know. Oh yeah, what the heck's going on with Chief? I forgot about him on the floor in his boxes and a beard. And if we need to use a Cylon to get them back, then so be it. Heck yeah. This is about trying to get as many survivors off Caprica as we can. You'll be making history just by making the attempt. And you'll be making part of the future. He may not have the same gravitas as his father, but... He's nailing it. Chief? Come on, Callie, find him. Is he having a medical issue? Is he being attacked? Is he seeing a Cylon in his brain? I'm going to wipe the floor with you guys. I can't. I love her. You must be losing your mind again. How are you doing? You okay? She's not okay. She's heartbroken. Don't shut me out. Not now. Something dark is coming, Halo. Mm. Chief? Hey, whoa, hey, yo, whoa, Tyrrell, my man, what? Are you beating Callie to death? Come to your senses. Yeah, get to Dr. Cottle. Yeah, you have to be account accountable for what just happened. But what just happened? I understand you've asked for religious counseling. Pray to the gods every night. Do you know how useless prayer is do you sure you're a priest i've been preaching longer than you've been sucking down oxygen you're an unusual priest we're here on our own that's the way they set things up very different his spiel to tyrell versus head six's spiel to gaius i hope you find him kara same i really do so do i I would have been disappointed if she also didn't hope to find him. That's kind of the whole reason we're doing this. She loves the man. Ready for the first jump. You are going for the jump, Starbuck. What in Roger the world? Roger that. 
That's cool. It's you and me from now on, no matter what. Just like we agreed. That's not really in your control, though, is it? I just can't get her out of my head. Do you sense that she's still alive somehow? Commence the first jump. Why is that one off by itself, away from everybody else? Oh, man, we're at the wrong jump coordinates. Yep. Kilo, we've lost someone already. Yo, race track. Mission rules say we keep going unless we lose three, so we keep going. Crap. Race track will just have to find our way back to base. I, I don't understand how I could do that to Callie. It's like it's a nightmare. Been having any recurring dreams lately? All right, what is this? What are you climbing? I assume it's not the Galactica swimming pool. So why are you dreaming of making this climb? Essentially, dreaming of killing yourself? Also, I noticed you're clean shaven here versus real life at the moment when you suddenly have all this fuzz. Three night, it's the same. For how long? A couple weeks. Hmm. By waking you up, she prevented you from carrying out your secret desire to kill yourself. Hang on now. Stop reading into it. It could be an implanted dream with some weird Cylon technology. You obviously want to kill yourself. I don't like this guy. I don't think he's being truthful or accurate. Maybe I'm misjudging the situation. A large planetary body. It's fracking close. Oh no. I'm not sure you should be investigating this. It's habitable. I mean, lots of great discoveries happen by mistake, I guess. But is this a mistake? Did someone send them there? I'm suspect of everything. Well done. Thank, Thank you, sir. Admiral's happy. I'm happy. Best part is all the Dreadus interference from the nebula. Sounds will probably never find it. Yes. That is the best part. Less than 20% of that place actually supports human life, so. You're not seeing the big picture. This is the future, guys. What about Earth? And let's not give up on Earth just because we have a potential home. <laughs> Can you imagine if we actually had to live on that thing? Genius. Permanent settlement on this planet. You should listen to him, guys. Yeah, Smart, but instead of... sexy man just oh, like you. Evoking the jealousy angle. <laughs> give up on Earth. No, I'm opposed to that. Yes. I think you should make a settlement. And it can even be permanent. But we should keep looking for Earth. I don't like making our potential home a political power issue. Like, ugh. Altar is holding out hope of breathing real air. It's a fantasy. All the data indicate that life on this planet would be hard. It would be a struggle to even eke a living out for a few years. They're tired. The idea of stopping, laying down their burdens, is what is resonating with the voters. It could turn the entire election around. I think that's true. I'm done dancing around the truth with you. I don't even know what you're talking about. You think you're a Cylon. I am not a Cylon. But that's what you're afraid of, isn't it? Just like Sharon, and I deserve to die. Is he from Quantum Leap? How do you know I'm human? I'm a Cylon, and I've never seen you at any of the meetings. <laughs> I can't go back and face the dead people again, are you? And Callie? That's the only family you've got. I mean, Callie would forgive you. Stand by for final jump to Caprica. Remember, we are going very low to the surface. We're missing Raptor 612. We jumped inside the mountain. Oh, that they're gone. Sorry, that sucks. How do you respond to the charges that you seize the idea of permanent settlement on this planet as a desperate move from a campaign? They're true. Prospect of discovering our long lost brothers and sisters of the 13th colony is a powerful one. That's us. The Cylons continue to follow us. And if we have a chance to change this dynamic, shouldn't we take it? I'm asking all of us to stop running from our lives and start living them. Hard to do when you're being chased, literally. Uh, it's a good line, though. I thought Dr. Balto did exceptionally well. Of course you did. He's your puppet. I found myself wondering how Rosalind's arguments against settlement could possibly win. We're here. I'm excited. Hold on to your butts. Something's about to happen. Movement, 11 o'clock. Centurion? Or is it Anders himself? I think that's Anders. I think that's the resistance. They're coming to investigate you. 
Oh, we're gonna have like a heartwarming ending. You tell us you took a good sweet time getting here. <laughs> sure is fractured. It's not her fault though. Reunited. And it feels so good. Did I resist singing? You're welcome. What do you think I was gonna leave you here? No. In the episode before it turns and gets bad. Toasters hit our base camp this morning. Right. I lost half my crew. Kidding me? Incoming! Ah! Here's the bad. Cool, cool, cool. All right, they didn't end the episode fast enough. Now we're all screwed. The good news is, part two starts right now. Fall back, position up this hill, let's go! Oh, kind of feels like you're surrounded, but we're not gonna come here to rescue them and fail so spectacularly that we lose every single one of them, right? Oh my gosh. Work like this. Callie. I didn't realize she was so beat up. I'll forget you. She's the biggest hearted person on the ship, man. I know you've been in pain for a really long time. I care about you. I always have. I always will. Yeah. Just accept the forgiveness and forgive yourself and move on. That's clearly going to be the hardest part for Tyrell. We got a spot in here really good! The holding position. Sending for non-lethal weapons. They want some prisoners for interrogation. The rest are going to send to the farm. Now going back to one of those farms, Sam. Down two more points. It's got the only issue people care about. The planet. Settling on this planet's going to mean disaster for humanity, and I will not say otherwise just to win an election. Good for you. Conviction. There's always a backup plan for victory. Is there? I like her, I think. 18 hours. They're taking a good sweet time out there. They're gone. Why would they just leave? Oh, maybe it's the result of uh, the revolution. Thank the gods. Crap. It's a miracle. No, it's a Cylon. No! Your servant, Laura Ross. Amen. I'm not okay with this. He didn't help Tyrrell probably at all. What is he doing here? How did he become the priest here? Oh, I've got questions. The question of permanent settlement may well be the most important issue we've faced since the attack. But it's bigger than just a talking point of an election. We will both pledge that regardless of who is elected, the decision will be made only after careful deliberation. That is what should happen. I don't think he's inclined to do that because it doesn't help him. I am appealing here to your sense of patriotism. Mm, if only you could have appealed to his sense of power. I see it as my patriotic duty to lead this fleet to a new world. That new world is unquestionably New Caprica. Were you with a blonde woman on Caprica just prior to the attack? I forgot she unlocked those memories when she was like having her whole cancer thing near death experience. Get out of here now. You'll resort to anything at this stage, won't you? Oh, uh -huh. Starbucks back. Wait, did he say they're, they're back? Did they bring a second priest with them? <laughs> Love that. The Cylon occupation is over. They left. They just abandoned the planet? The Cylons have left the colony. Cylon, Cylon, Tyrrell knows. Get him, get him, get him. He's a Cylon. Heck yeah. Sharon, did you know? Did you know? He's right, I'm a Cylon and I have a message. Take him to the break. Take yeah. that to the break, too. Oh. Uh, she probably knew, based on a past conversation he had with her. I want to love her. I want to trust her. Welcome to Galactica. But I have trust issues. <laughs> uh -huh. They killed my baby. I know. You think I care about but you? But they didn't. Or us. We're breaking up, huh? I love you, and I'm not giving up this fracking easy! Not after everything! Wow. No, 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 yes, no, no, hey, hey. Do you want to meet my man? <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. Pleasure. Shot? Sure, why not? Lee, when are you going to get yourself a girl? Wait, does she not know? Is, is... You're still fracking to all, are you? Wow. You should just leave, Commander. She is drunk and rude and mean. I don't even like Lee and Duala together. I don't, but he doesn't deserve that kind of treatment. He's with her. Show a little respect to your friend. I'm not a fracking Cylon. I'm not. Uh oh, is he a sleeper agent? Oh. Well, 
Oh, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> it's been decided that the occupation of the colonies was an error. The war heroes have managed to swing opinion over to their side. We got it into our heads that we were the children of humanity. Are they rejecting their theology? I'm to tell you that you've been given a reprieve. Cylon and man will now go their separate ways. No harm done. You completely annihilated our race and destroyed our civilization. No harm. There is no God. Oh, wow. They, did they reject their faith completely? Can't really prove it one way or the other, of course. Throw them both out the airlock. Let them see if there really is a Cylon God. If this was a number eight or a number six, I would probably be like, don't do that. I don't know him. I'm, I'm mad. Throw him out the airlock. The election has been uh, a real roller coaster ride. The polls now have been closed for about five hours. Uh, we're still waiting for a few more numbers to come in. Oh, now. okay, we're still uh, waiting. From Zarek had filed a formal complaint against the uh, use of military military involvement in the election process. Of course he did. Uh, oh man, are they gonna claim election fraud if Rosalind wins? Ugh, I don't know. Is it my trust issues? I mean, I'm just skeptical of any new character, and I want to trust Tori. Victoria, I'm, skept I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. So that is how things are looking at this point. We'll continue to bring you up to the minute coverage as the count progresses. We need to move now. I'll take care of it. What? Wait, she's... We'll take it from here. We were told to take these to the ballot room, sir. Counting has already begun. We'll take it from here. Are they actually... Is this actual election fraud? Because that would make me very upset. What are they doing? We're all covered in slime now. Uh, we cheated. Wow, okay. 8,593 for Roslyn. She, she has done it. She has retained the presidency. I've never seen a political race end like this, but it has just happened. You can always tell the fixed ones because they don't make sense. Democracy at work. And this doesn't make sense. She's not dishonest. But Tori is. I'm mad at Ty as well. And Duala. May I speak to you for a moment? Gata's got questions. Sir, I'm afraid these ballots from the Zephyr are wrong. Someone in the chain is either perpetrator or at least a willing ally. I'll take care of it from here. Yeah, Gata, you're talking to the man. Admiral, I believe that Colonel Ty is involved in a conspiracy to rig yes. the election for President Rosman. Right to it. He said he acted in collision with your campaign manager. I'm glad Ty came clean. I gave Tori the go ahead. No! I didn't know exactly what she was planning. Rosalind. You tried to steal an election? Yes, oh, I Oh, I'm so disappointed. I don't want him as president either, but... He's working with the Cylons. I saw him just before the attack on Caprica. Why didn't you say something before this? I didn't remember seeing him with that woman until I remembered it when I was dying. But that was quite a while ago, okay? We're talking like six episodes ago. Six episodes of silence, Rosalind. You should have come clean with that information rather than trying to rig the election. Now it's tainted. I agree, guy shouldn't be president, but neither should you, Rosalind. Do we steal the results of a democratic election or not? That's the decision. It's not a decision. You try to steal this election, you'll die inside. People made their choice. We're gonna have to live with it. Cry your tears, he's right. It's the wrong choice. It doesn't matter if it's their choice. I agree it's the wrong choice. It's disastrous. We just give it up, just like that. Yeah. The year was discovered and corrected. You've been elected president, congratulations. Set a course for new Caprica. God's help us all. What are we gonna discover down there? I'm nervous. I mean, they're not gonna end the episode. Oh, maybe they will. I'm not going to new Caprica. We're all going. It's our chance to be together. No. I can't do this anymore. This is a guy. It's, oh, you didn't do what I want. I'm breaking up with you. Stay. Oh, now she's ready, but she's only doing it so he won't leave her. And that kind of makes me sad. Scars. Are they going to make a new child together? That's actually theirs, I wonder. Did I take the office of president of the 12 colonies of Kobol without any moral reservation or mental... I have moral reservations, just so we're clear. She's setting off the bomb. I wonder if there's a resurrection ship nearby somehow. Is she just gonna be gone? That's the end of the season. Nope, there's more. You suspect the warhead was stolen from your lab. By him. 
mourn your loss, I guess. Where's Head6 to talk to him right now? I'd love to know what she has to say about this. President Baltar, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. The portrait. I can't. <sighs> One year later? How many silent attacks have there been since I took office? None, precisely. None. So why okay. do the people complain? Is this is this an extended like episode? How long is this episode? Time to pack him in, so. Oh, yeah. It's a lot left. We both know the Cylons could still show up. And they probably will. We've been orbiting New Caprica longer than we ran after the attack. That's a fair point. Listen, I still have trust issues. It's been a year for them, but it's been like, you know, two minutes for me. So if she gives you too much trouble. Find yourself a younger one. <laughs> <laughs> she will. I don't know that that's the best advice, though, but probably better advice than stay with Ellen forever because she's perfect. Sam? I think he's over there playing pyramid. Thanks. You're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> he's sick? Is it because of living here? I can't I married a moron. Are you okay? They're married? I can't believe Starbucks married. I'm shook by this. Probably pneumonia. So give him something. Been out of antibiotics for months. It's weird seeing him out of uniform. I don't know how to feel about it. Shut the fuck up! Thanks, Callie. She's pregnant with Tyrell's baby, probably. Well, oh, look at you. Everything's changed. Ah. Pegasus is sitting on the backup meds. Need spring some for you? Yeah, I doubt that. Okay, everybody have that, that so Maya? far? Yeah. Good, you're listening. Roslyn's a teacher. That makes sense. Hmm. Just a little check-in with little baby. Baby boomer. Never mind. I hear that you're a... Uh hoarding a bunch of antibiotics for the pilots. Andrews is sick. Picking up something on Dreyfus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it is. Assemble the troops. It's a Cylon fleet. Holy crap. We're fracking screwed. Here we go. I was gonna say, we're not gonna get through this finale without some kind of battle, are we? We're in no shape for a fight, sir. Oh my god, we can't just leave those people behind. We don't have a choice. We need to get out of here right now. What do we do? Do we launch the alert fighters? Begin jump prep. Here's the thing, President Baltar. It only takes one Cylon attack to annihilate you again. Don't tell me everyone planet side is screwed and done for. Oh no. Cylons just jumped into orbit. And the fleets jumped away. Oh god. Judgment day. Oh no. Welcome back, Head Six. Where you been? Cracking Judgment Day. Who is this? Is this Laban? I'm looking for Kara Thrace. <laughs> I don't know. They're clearly not here to just wipe you out. So that's, you know, count your blessings. So what are they here for? Oh no, that's definitely Caprica Six. Woo! Definitely is. Oh my gosh. Reunite. And it feels so weird. I know who you are, guys. Intimately. I know very well. <laughs> How did you find us? The radiation signature of a nuclear detonation. Oh. <laughs> she was sending a message. Very well. We surrender. I surrender. Yep. Bring on the centurions. <laughs> We're under Cylon rule now. This is wild. I can't handle it. Also, how fascinating is it that he that Head Six said Judgment Day as the machines came and took over? Fight them until we can't. Amen, sister. Amen, sister. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's make it all the way to season three. Let's ignite. Can we start it right away? No. So next week, we're going to be watching the Resistance webisodes, and then we'll be starting season three after that. Well, that, <laughs> that was a finale. Talk about turning the entire show on its head. Reveal, reveal, boom, boom, time transportation, everything coming together for a mind-blowing final few minutes that definitely 
definitely changed the show. I don't want to say for the better, for better. I don't want to say for worse. It, just, it changed the show. The show is brilliant. And I can't wait to find out where they go from here. So let's start with Brother Cattle. He's a Cylon. So I'm sure we'll see him again at some point. Cool. I almost lost complete faith in Laura Roslin. But Commander Adama, while sure he contemplated what to do, took some a moment to think about whether or not we should have let this election fraud stand. But he pulled her back from the brink. And uh, I do hold her responsible. She may not have known exactly what Tori was intending to do, but she definitely authorized it. And I'm kind of devastated that they and, you know, Colonel Ty and Duala for going along with it. I just kind of my respect for them all definitely lowered this episode. But Commander Adama pulled Roslyn back from the brink and they did the right thing, even though it had the wrong consequences, I guess, if that makes sense. And you could even argue whether or not it's the right thing. It was the moral thing. I just, I can't help but wonder, was there maybe some other way they could have changed the results of the election? I don't, I don't know. And frankly, it doesn't matter because Gaius was president for a year. I got the impression he spent most of that time with drugs and loose women, uh, to put it politely. I don't know. He was not a good president. And yeah, they had a whole year where no Cylon attacks. But because of uh, Gina and her nuclear explosion, the Cylon, she signaled them. And they knew where you were the whole time. Why did they wait a year to come? I don't know. But wow, Head Six saying Judgment Day was a moment when they arrived. Watching the fleet just go away was a fascinating moment. I'm curious if the number at the beginning of the next episode in the opening sequence will display the amount that are with the fleet wherever Adama is, or if it'll show the amount with Laura on New Caprica. I guess it's just a Gaius, but he's no leader. Or if it'll show all of them all together still and just I don't know. 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 Best moments by far were the one-liners as far as Head six saying Judgment Day and Gaia saying I surrender. What up? We all knew he was going to surrender. What option did he have? Really? It's going to be really interesting watching the, the military minded, the fighters that are on the planet. I'm talking about, mo I mean, mostly Tyrell, Ty, and Thrace. I just wanted to get all the T's, even though uh, Starbuck is a F, not a T, whatever. Yeah, yeah, a lot of moving parts that are going to make going into next season definitely fresh. And interesting and exciting and terrifying. Starbuck married Anders. Hi, what? I mean, I knew she was a big fan of his and uh, they were in a relationship. Although the the way she was acting and the way they treated uh, Apollo, uh, I wasn't sure that their relationship had legs. But uh, I guess getting a, a new hope and a new home, they got married. Hip hip hooray. Wow, that's cool. He's sick. Hopefully he does heal and get better. I assume he will. Callie's pregnant with Tyrell's baby. So she's obviously a Cylon. Because obviously if you get pregnant on this show, you're a Cylon trying to bring forth the next generation of humanity. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I hope I'm kidding. I really hope I'm kidding. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want anyone to be a Cylon. But some are, I believe, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't I don't know. Can I just say big props and respect to those of you who comment regularly on this channel and don't give spoilers because I'm just I'm flabbergasted by all of this that has taken place. I am completely floored and I absolutely love it. There has been like a thing or two that not even necessarily directly spoiled, but like hinted at. Uh, but like mostly I'm just a clean slate going through this and I'm thrilled by that. So keep that going with the no spoilers in the comment section. Thank you so much. I am curious because whatever model number he is, brother cattle seemed to indicate that the Cylons were turning over, over a new leaf and they were giving up on God's plan and the it's a, abandoning their, their purpose, recognizing that what they did was a mistake. So, 
that seems to be a direct result of the heroes, the Cylon heroes and their influence. What we saw in, in the episode downloaded are those heroes, the one that we the ones that we saw at the end there. We can be incredibly confident that Caprica six is absolutely the one who was staring face to face with Gaius. Um, and that is because of her performance. Trisha, um, thank you for being on this show because your performance is always captivating and engaging. And I mean, there's no question the way you looked at Gaius was, oh, it just is one of my favorite moments on the whole show. Just the look in, in, in her, in, in her eye when she looks at Gaius, whom she loves and doesn't really know what to do with. She doesn't know what to do with those feelings. It's so engaging and it, uh, it puts a different spin and a different thought process too on just conversations she had you in season one when she was walking with the Cylons as they were observing Hilo. Uh, just really, really fascinating. Just the whole thing. Oh, this whole show is incredible. And I love it. I love it. Two seasons left. I'm just, I'm shook. I don't know where this show is going to go from here into season three. I certainly don't know what to expect going into season four. I mean, it feels like a whole new show now. We are, we are, we are under Cylon rule. They are our lords now. Um, we are just Cylon slaves. Now, I imagine our fleet, they're going to come back for us. They're, they're going to, I don't know, get some sleep, come back rested and, and prepared. But like they're coming, they're not, not just going to abandon us, but neither can they take on the Cylon occupied new Caprica. I hope that shows up on the screen. Cylon occupied new Caprica. That would, that would just make me happy. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. How much time is going to pass in between season two and season three? Here on the channel, it'll be two weeks because we're going to watch the, the episodes the, of the Resistance next week, and then we'll get into season three. But I'm so excited. I'm really glad to take a little bit of time in between and just kind of sit with this for a little while. Uh, I didn't realize this last season finale was extended. I was, I was, I was questioning the pacing a little bit because I didn't realize the second episode was was so much longer than a normal episode. Now it totally makes sense. It was brilliant. It was really well done, and I loved this episode. I loved this finale. So uh, I gotta say, just thank you for being here and watching uh, Battlestar Galactica with me. It is a treat every week to tune in and watch the show. And now we're we're launching into season three. Uh, I'll see you next week with the webisodes, and uh, you can check them out here. Please give this video a like, subscribe, tell me all your thoughts on this episode in the comment section, and I'll see you next week. Bye.